Finally, it's on time to unveil the new looking mods for my CBR 1000 double I. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. You know, I bought this bike new in 2014. It was a leftover new model and I paid $8,000 out the door. It was in the OEM red color. And I decided I wanted to put some custom fairings on the bike. So I took my mint condition OEM red fairings off, which are sitting up in my attic in a box right now. And I switched over to some custom yellow fairings. And oh, I love that look. It was really awesome. Then I decided to change up and I added a black tank cover for the yellow and black look. So the bumblebee look. I love that. But then after a while I said, man, I want to change it up again. And I changed to all white fairings. Then eventually I added some uh, OEM Honda Repsol orange wheels. And I said, you know what? I might as well go ahead and change over for the whole Repsol look. So put some Repsol fairings on the bike. And that's why I went with the extreme fairings. So let's take a look at it, guys. And I also go over the mods that I did to the bike as well. Bam! As far as the mods, I only added two performance mods, which I'll go over in just a moment. But right now, I want to go over the previous mods that I did to the bike and, and give a review on them. Uh, these Chinese aftermarket levers I added when I added the uh, orange Repsol wheels. And I'll tell you guys, I've had no problems with these levers. They look fantastic. Very inexpensive. I've always used Chinese aftermarket levers going all the way back to my CBR250R. I use it on a CBR 600 rr I have it on my WR250R, and now this bike, and I've had no problems with the Chinese aftermarket levers. Um, I don't know why you guys spend hundreds of dollars for those name brand ones. These work just as great. Uh, also, I added, uh, this is a custom dock I built for free. If you want to see how to make this for free, I'll include the video link in the description and comment section of this video. By the way, links to everything, all the mods I did on this bike, I'll include in the description and comment section of this video, or you can go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Mods, and those are current links to all the mods I did for this bike and also the WR250R, so hey, go check that out. Also, uh, right after I got the bike, I added uh, aftermarket exhaust because the stock exhaust just made this bike sound like a scooter. <laughs> Um, I love this Hyperflow exhaust. It has the S bend in the pipe. This is custom for the CBR 1000 rr It creates back pressure with this S bend so you don't end up with any idling issues like you would on, with some of the other aftermarket exhausts. So I didn't have to add a power commander to this bike. I've had no problems. I still get uh, 40 miles per gallon with this bike average. Uh, as far as the fender eliminator kit, this is the second one that I added on the bike and I did this when I put on the, uh, the Repsol wheels. I love this aftermarket kit. I've had no problems whatsoever. It's got the light right there that shines on the plate. I um, also have two cameras here that show uh, that way I can get views from both sides of the bike and I have a big power bank in here that powers the cameras. I have a Blaster X tail light that I added previously. It has the integrated turn signals. It's really bright and it um, it modulates the light so it, it to help me be seen from traffic behind me, help keep me safe out there. As far as the new mods that I did to the bike, uh, I added the 520 chain and sprocket kit, the quick acceleration kit. Uh, I decided to go with just one tooth down with the front sprocket and I stuck with the 42 teeth in the rear. As you can see, it's beautiful black, much better than the, the stock. Uh, rear sprocket because the stock rear sprockets man on most stock bikes uh, they get they get stains on them they're just horrible I don't like the, the stock sprockets I love this looks much better gold chain beautiful just like my WR250R has a gold chain 
And uh, I was gonna go with one, two down in the front and two up on the rear, but a lot of you guys told me, you said, man, just stick with the one, two down in the front uh, because if you do the two up in the rear as well, there's a lot of you guys are saying it pulls the front wheel up a lot, it, it revs really high on the highway and also throws the speedo off big time, which with this setup, I'll still probably, it'll throw the speedo off a bit. Um, and I may add a speedo healer like I did for my WR250R, but really it's unnecessary because I always keep a GPS on the bikes and this gives the accurate speed anyhow. So I probably won't even add a speedo healer uh, to the bike. Also, I added the Bazaz timing retard plug and play piece uh, that goes on there. Very simple install. I'm going to do a video on that for you guys to show you how quick and easy it is to install it. And basically what that does is that takes the restriction off this bike. This is the American bike. Of course, I'm here in Ohio in the United States, but the European models, you don't have to get that Bazaz timing retard plug and play uh, piece because your your bikes are unrestricted. They put a restriction for the American bikes uh, So basically this is going to up the bike six horsepower and also bring the peak power uh, lower down in the uh, rpm range by 1500 rpm uh, I'll do a first ride with this bike and let you guys know if it feels any different from stock So look forward to that video um, also, I upgraded the brake pads to EBR double H brake pads for the front and rear and uh, also previously I had this plug in here for my uh, heated gloves and heated gear because you know I ride year round also added a pro grip tank pad which I've been using going all the way back to the CBR 250R very inexpensive like five ten bucks and they work great like I said I'll include links in the description and comment section of this video to everything but I don't know, what do you guys think? You like this or what? Beautiful or what, man? You know, in the past, I said I didn't want to go with Repsol because it's I don't like ad giving free advertisement. But you know what? I just had to do it since I had the uh, the orange Repsol wheels. You know, I, I, And I love the high-vis look because this is going to help me be seen better out on the streets. To help keep me safe. Keep me from having a real effed up day. So I want to hear your comments. What do you guys think? I love this front, how they integrate uh, the, the windscreen paint job with the, uh, the front fairing. I think that's beautiful. That's nice. I like it. They have a bunch of advertisement down here, like I said, free advertisement, but it, it makes it look cooler, I guess. Uh, I just love the orange, white, and red just pops. It's really cool. Uh, like I said guys, I'll do a first ride with this bike coming up when the weather gets better right now We got a ton of snow out there on the street So it's gonna be a while before I can ride probably So when the weather gets better I'm gonna do a full review on this fold-up motorcycle trailer that fits in the garage perfectly takes up very little room So look forward to that and for those of you that want to get my motorcycle gear because you often ask you know, my camel pants, motorcycle jackets, boots, gloves, helmets, everything. I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos. Or go to my website, CycleCruiser.com, and click on the menu tab, My Gear. And those are current links to all of my gear, cameras, everything. If you want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with my over 1,000 plus videos categorized into those playlists to make it easier for you to navigate through. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your friends. It really helps my channel, helps me get motivated to do videos when you hit the thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my All in One Motorcycle channel. Also, don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel, Book Out Moto, that showcases a van that I customize for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods. And that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos, uh, anything and everything, Bug Out Moto. As a courtesy, I included two video playlists, one for new riders, and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders, and also my popular videos playlist. Hey, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.